Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a foam mask. Some of the tools you're going to be needing is a good pair of scissors, a measuring tape, a marking pen, and lots of hot glue sticks. You're going to be needing a piece of foam at an inch thick. That's about that thickness. The best thing to do is get yourself a measuring an inch tape out of a pound shop or something like that. Measure around your head. When you've got the measurements locked down, you're going to be doing that towards your bottom of your jaw to the top of your head. Measurements as well. You're going to add on one extra inch. It should, when you got it all measured out, look like that. Maybe before you've hot glued, you might want to see if it fits around your head okay. Maybe something like that. After you've done that, you're going to put it edge to edge and glue along those edges, one of the edges. So be careful when you do that because it can be pretty hot. Yeah, it seems okay. After you've made like, a small oval like shape, you could cut around that and glue the bits edge to edge or pinch it together, stick it all the way is to do the four horn technique. I'll show you that technique now. <laughs> On again. Leave it a few minutes or so to set. After that, take one of the corners, pinch it in to the middle, kind of like so, and glue there. When you've got the other side done, you can put a wee line there and there. If you want to, you can turn it all the way around. After you've done that, it should kind of look like that. Next step is to take one of the corners and just snip it off to a nice wee perfection. To put it back onto your head. Make sure you've got your pen in your hand when you're doing this. Feel for your eyes. Take a wee mark. Stay for that eye. Keep your eyes closed when you're doing it, just in case you pass your plane through. Next step is to feel for your mouth and make a wee mark again. After you've done that, take it back off. Good thing to get maybe when you're doing the eyes is maybe like a cup. If you're not very good at drawing circles, you can use either side of the cup. Put it to the edge where the mark ended. Get your pen again. And just draw around. You could use that one as a template for the other side, so if you wanted to cut that one out, you can. Next step after that is where the corner of the eye finishes. Draw a line down on both sides. If you put it on the now, you probably won't get any movement on your jaw. It's just to make it a wee bit tighter to each side. So when you talk, it talks. I normally put a line all the way down, draw a triangle, cut out of that triangle, glue the bits together to make it tighter. 
only had to do this each corner on that side. Sometimes you might have to do the three corners if it feels too slack at your back of your head. A good thing to do from the nose area, from the muzzle area, is to draw like a small wee oval shape with the two legs. It gives you a rough idea where we get an unhappy face, if you will. <laughs> That's the way I normally like to do a muzzle. I won't be able to show you uh, uh, a muzzle today because I don't have enough form with me. I'll give you a rough idea on paper. The basic principle is like a six inch or seven inch, however big you want the nose to be, square. Make two of them on form, not on paper. Fold each edge down with the form, glue it. If you want to put the line all the way along, for example, that would be like from the chop jaw, just draw a wee half circle to get the rough idea from the muzzles from the front. On that, as close as you can to the edge of the mouth. I've cutted a small wee triangle out to put where the placement of my nose would be. Basically, the principle is, as I said, we've done that both sides as you talk. That talks. Officially speaking, when you're doing for, uh, for suit heads, the characters won't really speak because you know, if you're doing an animal head, as you know, animals don't really talk. But if your character talks, you should be able to get away with it. It's not really a, a rule against it. First, will never speak a word to lose body language from everything. <laughs> After you've put your nose on, some people put ears on first, then the nose, whatever you wanted to do. It's basically just a, a triangle shape. If you wanted to, you could even round it more to make it more of ear shape. You basically do the same thing again, draw a template, cut out. Do the same again to the opposite side. Because most ears you will do will be curved, like that one is. Same again to the ear, just hot glue thing. And just do the same again with the opposite ear. It should look like that. Your next step is to Get yourself fake fur, whatever colour you want to, to be. The way I normally do it is to get yourself a ruler, draw a square. I've always thought squares would be easier to use to put onto the to put onto it. I thought it would be a basic okay shape. You will need several squares, just go the whole entire length if you wanted to. And basically <laughs> Placed it on, glued one piece and said, that looks all right. Do the same again. <laughs> Just keep continuing that to the mask is totally covered. So trying to hide the seat much as you can. Now basically, third to there with the red all the way around the mask. Then with the white for I did this basic zoom thing. With the ears, I just covered the ears totally in black fur, and then just got a wee piece of white fur loose through the I think the shape was the eye shape, and just stuck that on to give the reason of the inside of the ear. I'm using air drying clay to make a nose. Roll it into a ball, into a nose shape. When it's dry, you just paint it black, pink, whatever colour you want to make your nose. This is how it should look when you have totally furred up before you put eyes in. The technique I normally use is this, almost the same principle as to doing those kind of eyes. A piece of cartridge paper and in the bottom of the circle. To draw the same similar shape as eye. Get yourself like a 10 pence piece or a 5 pence piece. Put it roughly in the middle. 
you can just use the opposite side, get yourself a permanent colour marker, whatever colour you want to make your eyes with, just cut it in. Get yourself that netting stuff. It's been about in the tutorial, cut a small wee square off of it and hot glue it to the back end of that so you can still see through. That's what I did with the, with the ones. That would be it, finished after that. The next stage would be just to make yourself a tail. Hopefully, well, if you do want to make yourself a mask, good luck doing it, basically. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 